Greetings, this is Calcats the Calcatster. Although I haven't reviewed any of the other uh, movies in this franchise, I don't think. I went to see The Predator, the sort of remake sequel to Predator. Uh, it's about this giant alien that has camouflage and infrared sight and all that. I remember the... and, it, and it's a hunter, basically, not a predator. And they point this out in the new movie, that, it, that he would be more like a game hunter, not a predator. They put it out in the second one. And there were the movies called Alien vs. Predator and uh, Alien vs. Predator Requiem. I've seen them all, but the first one was the most famous because Arnold Schwarzenegger was in it. And there was like a meme, get to the chopper! Yeah, that's from that, from Predator. <laughs> um, yeah, so, anyway, so... Um, in this one, they referenced that that scene as well. Hmm. So yes, uh, Rotten Tomatoes has already given us a score of uh, like 32. <laughs> the critics uh, hate it. Um. Psst. Uh. Well, yeah. Um. The previews were already practically over by the time I got in there. It was late. Uh. Yeah. Uh. This is a Friday. Friday. Afternoon showing the end of the end of a uh, summer here and uh, early early autumn and uh, It's it's September. So yeah, it's it's autumn. Yeah, it's fall. Um, so so this movie is is Yeah, it isn't very good. Uh, <laughs> I Have not watched the stone gremlins review of it uh, yet uh, I Watched other things that were going on um, Yeah, so uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's okay, I guess, I don't know. I thought it was more entertaining than DC, than the DC mar movies, the, the, and, and not just, uh, prejudiced against, like, DC movies necessarily, I give them, I give, I give a better review of those than, uh, a lot of the critics did, uh, uh, not, not necessarily in the pocket of Marvel, as I've tried to point out many times, that I, I'm not, Otherwise, my channel would have more views. <laughs> also, there, there are other websites knocking the Star Wars Disney movies, and claiming that they are uh, that their their blog on their YouTube channels are actually getting the Star Wars people no, are noticing them. Like, no, you're not. <laughs> They're not noticing your channels. No. Uh, not even if you had a million views, they still wouldn't notice your channel. Uh, they don't. They don't care about uh, complaining fans. Anyway, so this movie probably would upset some of the Predator fans, which one of a couple of my friends are fans of the show, so, you know, the movie and whatever. Um, uh, yeah, uh, uh, there there are parts of this movie that are just like, why? Uh, it was like. Uh, there were whole swaths of this movie where they're in a junior high school. There are whole swaths of this movie where, where parts of it, it's trying to be Diary of a Wimpy Kid, but with a predator monster running around, around Halloween time. Like, why? Uh, if you want to do a spooky Halloween version of junior high school, then do that. Yeah, do that, and uh, don't make it a movie about a predator alien monster, because it doesn't work. It's two different movies. The same problem was Jurassic World uh, Fallen Kingdom, uh, where they spent the last third of that movie in a mansion. And it was like, why? Uh, it's just like, they should be running rampaging out, you know, in the world. At least with this one, it did go out into the city and raise some trouble. And then into a forest in the third act. But, but it's like, uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> it's like, okay, whatever. Um, and it's Flight of the Navigator, too, because the little kid with autism figures out how to communicate with the alien, which is the same cliche as in Independence Day and Independence Day 2. Kind of the same ending with the, ooh, we have a way to stop them that we've, the alien was bringing to us. Yeah, it's Independence Day 2 at the end, but in the middle it's it's like a little kid version of The Accountant. Which is like really bizarre. Ew. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> should the movie they go like like uh, what is he gonna like the kid gonna count like um is the kid gonna like like wash his hands a bunch of times to which somebody in the theater said that's OCD <laughs> that's the wrong thing <laughs> yeah that's right that's not that's, that's not knowledge that's OCD yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty funny. That's the wrong, the wrong ailment there, buddy. Actually, the guy in the guy in the accountant should have been OCD and not Asperger's too. So there you go. They were probably watching that movie and thought, yeah, that, that's right. That's how that works. No, oh, it's not. Anyway, so the predator alien, a smaller predator alien, comes back, brings a pod, crashes his ship. He's being chased by the bigger predator alien. It's a metaphor, and and. Uh, they land. And then there's these uh, sort of roughneck, sort of A-team type of... So it's a bunch of ideas, mercs and things. These A-team type of guys are on, on a, a prison bus into a facility. And then there's... They capture the downed alien pilot and they bring him to this uh, research facility where this lady's like a, a badass warrior and stuff. Uh, I'm, I'm sure the... Uh, the uh, and, she's, and she's a scientist, which is interesting. Uh, uh, I'm sure the uh, anti the anti Star Wars people will complain about a uh, strong empowered woman in this in this movie. Two of them, uh, they shouldn't because empowered women are awesome. Yes. Anyway, so <laughs> just because they don't like it doesn't mean everyone else doesn't like it. Anyway, so the the predator is not a woman, but that would be interesting. Uh, the predator has human DNA for some reason. This other predator, and there's a bunch of goofy stuff going on. It never gets schmaltzy, though. Uh, it, it, it's a little bit similar to the Dark Tower as well, which had sort of a kid with powers in it. Like a, a ghost man and stuff. But this is a predator in this case. Yeah, so there's... They were probably thinking of it a little bit as well, I guess. But, yeah. The only way that would work is if... Yeah, there's... It's just... <laughs> I don't know what they were thinking. Children of Men came to mind. Um, the, the predator, the big predator has two hunting dog predators, so there's dog ones, slimy things, um, vicious slimy things, dog worm, wargs, wolf things. Yeah, and as they point out like three or four times in the movie, even though the name sounds cool, they're technically hunters, not predators. A so sport hunter is someone who would be like, like, out for the kill, which is like what they describe as a sport hunter. Uh, whereas, whereas a predator is trying to survive, like a shark or something. A shark doesn't go for sport; it just goes to like to eat and feed and reproduce. Uh, a, a lion doesn't really hunt for sport, really. Um, no, it just hunts to bring the kill back. Uh, humans are really an analogy to that in there. I don't even think other great apes necessarily do that. Maybe chimps. I don't know. Some of them do. Um, but, yeah. Atlantis is not in Africa. That meme is stupid. <laughs> anyway, so that's not in this movie, but it was just that internet thing I wanted to point out. And also I wanted to point out that I liked Red Letter Media's idea for a Picard story. Um, setting plays on a, a galaxy class ship, go for it. Anyway, so, uh, this is an actual Asperger review of, of this, of this movie. Just going off on a tangent here, here and there. Um, but coming back to the focus of the story, unlike OCD, where you would be repeating the same thing over and over again. So, uh, so, is, is, uh, uh yeah, is it good? Not, not especially. It's about, as, I'd say, as good as the G.I. Joe movies. Kind of acts like it. This director would be a good G.I. Joe director. They, they get him to direct G.I. Joe. Um, <laughs> but, uh, which they should do another one of. Anyway. Hmm. Yeah. Just, just, oh, let's see. The critics were giving it. 32 stars. That's a little harsh. Uh, it's not 1%, 1.5%. It's 2 stars, maybe. 2 stars. Two and a, almost 2.5. Two 
It's not. It, yeah, it's. It's. I would give it a forty-five percent instead of of a possible hundred instead of thirty-two. I would say it's, it has moments. It's. It's as dumb as 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 some of the other ones. Um, I kind of liked Alien vs. Predator, so I didn't give that such a bad review. I never reviewed it on this channel, though. Um, and Requiem was a mess, but at least it was vaguely... I, I would say it's worse than... Requiem was worse than Predator Requiem. Um, and then, of course, I, I thought that what would be funny is if Robot Chicken did a To Catch a Predator and the Predator together. And he, like, he, like tears off the guy's head and holds up the skull because that's what the predator does. Cleans the skull. Like... Trophy. Anyway. Yeah. I saw it at about noon. Yeah. That's alright. <laughs> Nothing to write home about. So pre the predator was the name of this one. I would have called it Predators or Predator Genesis or something. Actually, Terminator Genesis is a worse movie than this. Um, yeah. And I heard that Lara, that Red Letter Media Front, uh, not Red Letter Media, uh, still, uh, Channel Awesome's still around. They just got around to reviewing um, uh, Freddy Got Fingered because Red Letter Media did it. Ooh. I'm not going to do that tonight, but I, I'll, I will do a review of, of Freddy Got Fingered. <laughs> it's stupid. I already did... No, no Nostalgia Critics should do, though. They should do a review of Movie 43. Even though it's not nostalgic, but neither was Freddy Got Fingered. <laughs> um, it's not nostalgic. However, they, they did Pixels, and they did the Emoji Movie, and they were new. They did... Secret Life of Pets. Uh, so, they could totally do Movie 43, partly because I think as ter in terms of a comedy movie, Movie 43 is worse than Freddy Got Fingered. I mean, even there, there's at least one or two jokes that are just gross, but kind of land in Freddy Got Fingered. But in Movie 43, there isn't a joke that lands. There, there just isn't. I... <laughs> Be hard pressed to find one. Mm. As Silly Kelly explained in his review of Movie 43 on my channel many years ago and said, like, okay, this is not funny. This is not how to do comedy. <laughs> it just isn't funny. Uh, it's just kind of sad and depressing. But <laughs> yeah, you, what you don't want to do in a comedy is you don't want to have um, your. Yeah. And, and back to an action picture here, you don't want to have your. Now, this review was all over the place because there's really not much to say about a movie with a giant monster with glowing blood running around and his blood goes when you shoot him and mercenaries and good guys and bad guys. The, the editing of the one part where the other mercenaries come in is like a Michael Bay movie and you can't tell who the bad guys are. And they hold up the family and the mother and they take the kid to go find the alien which doesn't make any sense. Now, that was really stupid. It's like, how did they know what to do and if they had the ship how did they not just find someone in their own echelon that has autism they need the kid just to do that that's that's what <laughs> certainly there's got to be somebody else that has i thought it was funny that they made it the next step in their evolution that's that's funny but that would be a forced evolution as the result of environmental con constraints that have and no, it's not vaccine. That that's not what did it. It's just environmental, like like the, the Earth. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, evolutionary jump. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, we're totally like like self self uh, convoluted kind of thing. Yeah, totally. Yeah, the center of the universe. Ah, Ew, that's actually kind of slightly offensive on the part of the movie to to imply that. Learning disabilities are the next step in their evolution. Is like, what? Oh, are they? Oh, okay. How <laughs> does that work? Um, yeah. Ooh, it's like back in junior high when when I thought, like, 
Mongolia, and there was a, a term for a certain kind of a mental uh, deficiency that went together. Uh, the, the word sounded similar. I didn't get that one predated the other, Mongoloid and Mongolia. I was 12. I didn't know. Um, I didn't get that they that that it wasn't that they the people that were Down syndrome basically lived. They didn't live there. It's not like that. But I was 12, and I didn't know. Somebody corrected me. So. Anyway, <laughs> no, no, they didn't come from there. <laughs> what? <laughs> They're not from Mongolia. No, no. Um, but yeah, it's sort of like that mentality, like the story, like, like, like the idea that somehow that's going to ex change evolution on the planet is like what? Oh, ha how? Uh, let's throw in a really weak premise. Let's throw in stuff about climate change, too. That's okay. But it's like... Uh, yeah. It's a very, very odd movie. Uh, psst. Anyway, they call the kid retarded. Actually, he's not. He's gifted. In some ways. Or, yeah. So he can figure out the alien technologies and stuff. Because of course he can. You know, it would have been really dumb as if, like, he suddenly was an expert sniper or something. <laughs> The alien captured him, which is similar to that movie War of the Worlds with Tom Cruise, the remake. They had captured the family on the ship, too. Kind of the same ending. So it's a mixed mash of all kinds of things. Flight of the Navigator and those other ones. War of the Worlds and Jurassic Park, Fallen Kingdom and. Psst. The two demon dog things. Ghostbusters, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I am the gatekeeper and I am the key master. He wasn't a ghost, it's just that they had ghost dogs. Um, so. uh, he acts like a ghost though, he can turn his like control thing and yeah. You know, you just picture my friend Jim who's uh, who is uh, excitable, let's say, uh, Jim Buffkin, uh, Jim Tacon. I can just picture him saying, okay, that's stupid, how can they... The human cannot take the alien technology. That's no. <laughs> oh, it's from another light year. It's light years away in another solar system. And at least they threw in a cow cat line. Somebody said, "Is it from another galaxy?" And the scientist lady goes, "Why does it have to be from another galaxy? It could be this galaxy. There's there's the hundreds of thousands of stars. <laughs> it's just from another solar system. Like that, that was funny. So there was there was at least somebody from the Pine Hill era on the uh, writing staff, but not me. I didn't have anything to do with it. Really, I didn't. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, there's other movies that have elements of you know, they can kind of tell, but <laughs> no, I did not. I did not write the accountant. But I wouldn't have written that. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, the good dinosaur though that was yep, cowpoke. Parts of Moana as well. The the crab guy. That wasn't me, but it was definitely inspired of the... And yeah. They were thinking of it. Which means, the only, actually, the only way that works is if of the, of the... of the few subscribers that subscribe to my channels, there should be more. There's only 60. If I can subscribe to the Cal Cat Show so I can have more than 60 views as I reach 500 videos on channel... B here, channel two, uh, and I'm gonna release the Robotech thing very shortly. I'm putting it together, uh, second half of a ma uh, Macross thing. So, um, and uh, yeah, it should be out before Halloween. Um, <laughs> but but yeah, the yeah I have sixty some subscribers. I want to get six hundred subscribers by the end of the year. I'd like to also have then six thousand by the end of next year. And rise up in the ranks, and then get one of my. Uh, I want to get one of those uh, YouTube silvery YouTube buttons that says a million mm, by uh, by 2020. Yeah, I want to go viral on my channel. So yeah. hasn't happened yet. But like like the only way it would work that I could have been in any of those movies is if one of those 60 subscribers is a connection to Hollywood. And no, no, I don't think so.
just not, uh, only indirectly. Uh, yeah, the Predator. Uh, I rambled on about other things, but it's kind of an update. And the Predator, which... Eh, sure. <laughs> eh.